guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sunia Gubare, as you all know me. Today is another exciting video, but before we continue, let me welcome you, my guest, in my kitchen. <laughs> so this is my older sister. Oh, yeah. Her name is Shemaine, aka Kara's Creation, is in the building today. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so yeah, can you introduce yourself? Say hi, hi to my people. everyone, my name is Shemaine. I am the owner and founder of Kara's Creation. Mm -hmm. yes. And then you are here. I'm here to bake a loaf. And then from there she's going to teach us few stuff for people that want to learn how to bake. So what are you going to do first today? So today we are making a lemon blueberry loaf. Uh-huh. And yes. Then yes. we're going to ask Kara some questions because I know some of you have some questions. We want to find out how she started the business and actually her business is based in Tumep. So yeah, she's the best baker in town, guys. She has the best moist cake. Yes. Hey, everything. Everything nice, you know. So yeah, we are going to, I'm also going to put down her details once we are done with this video so you can just call her, contact her if you want a birthday cake, wedding, anything, any event, right? Yes. So yeah, <laughs> she's just saying yes, okay? Let's get started. start off with the wet ingredients so what we're gonna need is basically just a normal vanilla essence um, mixture but then we're gonna add some flavor to it with the, add some flavor to it we're gonna add some lemon essence instead so we're gonna start off with a cup mm -hmm. of milk one cup of milk and then I'm gonna close that okay and I'm just okay. assistant here guys with the top the Okay, so, and then we're gonna use a cup, another cup of water, mm -hmm. and then some quarter. There's a quarter. A quarter of. So it's one cup and a quarter of milk cooking oil. Can we use any type of oil, or is there just a specific oil we're supposed to use? I think I use sunflower oil. Oh. You can use olive oil. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter, whatever. So it's about. So there will be no difference if you use any kind of oil. I doubt. No. Okay. These are for. I'm asking for the beginners, all that want to start baking. So yeah. So we wanted to ask my people and I wanted to ask. When did you start? When did you start baking, and why? So what was your inspiration behind that? So basically, I started baking. Let's say this is my second year of baking. Mm -hmm. Um, why did I start baking? I was bored, honestly. Yeah, I finished high school. I wasn't doing much with my life. I didn't have anything to do, yeah. and then I found refuge in the kitchen, and I just took it from there, and it's been amazing since. Mm -hmm. That's nice, guys. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna continue. She said we are mixing the wet ingredients first. Then so we'll... now we're gonna start with the flavoring. We're gonna okay. use lemon essence. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go with two tablespoons of it. Oh, let's let's make it three because yeah, we're gonna make it three tablespoons of that. Let me just show them how lemon essence look like. Essence. It looks this way. I don't know if y'all can see something like this. So yeah. And then we are gonna use our eggs. Mm -hmm. Do you put the eggs? Yes. Or you gonna do it? You can. Okay. okay. Fine. Okay. So for this mixture, we're gonna need four medium-sized eggs. Mm -hmm. Whisk this together. Okay. So I'm gonna whisk the wet ingredients together while so she's busy mixing the dry ones. So guys, we can put down what we are using in my description box for those that want to start baking or that are interested in baking. So how is the business? How how is the business been going? How is the baking business? What are the challenges? If you can just give it brief, not that big. 
So business for me has been interesting, hey, considering that it's my first time. Um, I think I struggled a bit in the start, but now I'm getting a hang of things. I think the, 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 the advantage of baking is um, you don't need a large amount of money to really start baking. You just start and you figure it out as you go. You buy the stuff one by one. So yeah. it's, it's really been an interesting journey of learning. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just going to start with the dry ingredients. We're going to need three three cups, cups of flour. of flour. Three cups of flour. So guys, for those people that have been asking me to bake on this channel, hey! Oh girl cannot bake. <laughs> the baker itself is there. And then we are gonna use is this is enough. Am I over mixing it? It's fine. Okay. Then we're gonna use one cup of sugar, one cup and one cup and and half a cup of sugar. White sugar. But I think if you use brown sugar you have to sip it in. Yeah, yeah. Because of the mm -hmm. the grains. And then we are going to take a tablespoon of salt mm -hmm. and three tablespoons of baking powder. Just um, so guys, everything is in the edge, doesn't need any paper. Save <laughs> yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Just mix it together. So where do we add the blueberries? Just we add them soon. Oh, in the dry ingredients or when we use the dry ingredients, we mix and go together. Okay. So that's it for the dry ingredients. Now mm -hmm. we're gonna take our we're gonna move over to the side. So some that's gonna need. That. So we're just going to ask Sonia to get us the blueberries. So we're going to get the blueberries. We've already washed them. They're clean. They're mixed. So these are the blueberries. So what we're going to do now is... So I coated my, my blueberries with some flour. This is to prevent the blueberries from sinking to the bottom of the pan as they bake. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to butter our loaf pans mm -hmm. so I basically learned how to bake off of the internet mm -hmm. there is everything but it's a challenging thing to you know, start because you know people don't always talk about how the process was they always just talk about oh it's so nice but like one of the challenges that like, honestly speaking I think baking I think like everything in life is challenging but um, I think once you're passionate about it the challenges are quite exciting hey it's like you fail at it and you get excited about trying it out again and getting it right the next time mm -hmm. the challenges i faced in the start was um pricing i was pricing myself for way too low i was running at a loss i didn't know my value and i had to figure that out early because i wasn't making much money because for me it was about it was more about me leading out my passion. It was about making money. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that a girl's gotta make some money too from this, you know? You know? <laughs> so yeah, that was some of my challenges. Mm -hmm. And okay. 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 Yes. So now we've buttered our pans. Well, so I'm just gonna take this. So with your blueberries, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna use a mixture. You're just mm -hmm. gonna put them in and then you you fold them in. This is called folding in. Mm -hmm. You just fold the blueberries into the mixture. And the last one's in there. Just fold your blueberries into the mixture like that. Mm -hmm. That's what you can do.
so what we are gonna need for the glaze is just two ingredients basically we're gonna need ice and sugar mm -hmm. and some lemon some lime so for one loaf you're just gonna need a cup of icing mm -hmm. but since you have two loaves you're just gonna double the mixture so instead yeah. of that's what I'll look for we're gonna, gonna mix a little yeah so instead of one we're gonna need two cups of the icing sugar okay. and usually for one mixture you just need two tablespoons of this but now we're gonna need four Also, you can add a bit of sour taste more. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to bring more people. Not more, but I'm, I might be doing also baking here and there for the channel. But this is a new segment where you just bring people, like the bakers, like Shikara's creation, just to come show us some tips and tell us how business has been going. And yeah. But besides cake and all that, what else does your business include? So Carlos Creation has recently ventured out into um, birthday parties. So mm -hmm. now I host birthday parties for the ladies. Mm -hmm. So that's an exciting journey that we are embarking, embarking on right now. It's hosting parties and who knows we might host bigger events than that in the future. Yeah, it's more so steps at a time. Okay, so there we go. That's the paste. Can I taste the paste? Wow. That's the paste. Mm -hmm. Very, Very sour cake. Too. Yeah, that's what we need to do. So that's mm -hmm. it. So we put the loaves into the oven. We are going to bake at 150 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes, depending on. We're just going to check mm -hmm. on it after 30 minutes to see if it's cooked. If not, we're going to put it in for another 5 minutes and then. Then we'll get back to it. Just waiting for the last move. But then we can start with the one the that's already move. out. And then we're just going to cut and show you guys how it looks like inside. And I'm so going to take the first loop. I hope they can see. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need a tray. Yes. Oh, can I bring the plate? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. Taste. So what we're going to do is just. Lightly, mm, yummy. <laughs> Sprinkle that while it's warm so that it melts on the cake. Mm -hmm. And then on the loaf, yes. Just mm. 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 Yes. Oh my goodness, guys! It looks so nice, and it smells so nice, also. So that's it, guys. Kara is the plug. So now we can. So we can take from there also. So guys, this is how the inside looks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I can't wait to taste it. Again. Just let's like, put it down like this. Yummy. <laughs> so we all that. Yummy. Yeah, even if I have to say so myself. It's too good. I want another one. I want five minutes. <laughs> to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you also enjoy being in my kitchen not my kitchen but <laughs> yes, <laughs> i enjoyed being on your channel on my channel and how was experience how was it it was new different exciting mm -hmm. we we'll definitely not do it again she'll come back again guys one day or not Kara's creation is going to be back again so we are ending the vlog out here so much love from us bye don't forget to like, uh -huh. subscribe, uh -huh. and something below. The Comment button. down below. <laughs> yes, that one. Okay, guys, love you so much. See you in the next vlog for the next video. Bye.